Hey everybody, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be unboxing another Misfits box. Why a second video? Well, because some people are concerned that uh, Misfits is not exactly good quality when it comes to their boxes. Some boxes are great and other boxes are poor. So we're going to unbox another Misfit box that we just got delivered just a little while ago and see if this box has good quality produce or if it's a really, really poor uh, box this time. So come along and we're going to unbox the Misfits box right here on Garden Jen's Journey. Okay, so before we unpack the Misfits box, I'm just going to let you know you're probably going to hear the mower quite a bit during this video as my son is outside getting our lawn mowed. And we have a pretty small yard, so the mower is pretty close to the kitchen window at all times. So just bear with me as we go through this video. You're going to hear my son mowing. So let's get unboxing that Misfits box. All right, so this is the Misfits box. This is the mega box size. If you haven't seen my video, um, previous video, I will leave a link above so you can view that one as well. Misfits has changed the way that their boxes are now put together. It used to be that you would order um, either the small size or the large size, and then you would have pre prepared list of vegetables and produce that you could choose from to put in your box. Now, instead of having a, a pre-prepared list to choose from as far as what can go in your box that time, you have a wide range of different stuff that you can put into your box. So, like before, um, I had to choose if I wanted eggplant or something else that my family really didn't consume but that was automatically part of the box of selection I had to choose that eggplant and how many I wanted even though we didn't uh, use that in our family so the eggplant actually went to my chickens because we don't eat it where now I can pick what exactly goes in my box if I wanted a box of just carrots I could get just carrots or if I wanted just some kale or some apples or something like that, I could choose exactly what goes into my box and how much. So as far as that, um, it has improved quite a bit with what or how you can customize your box to fit your family's lifestyle. So I'm going to go ahead and get our camera set up and we're going to open this box. All right, like I stated, I have not yet opened this box. It was just delivered just uh, about a half an hour or so to go. So this is still taped up. I have not opened it. I know what I ordered. Actually, I don't remember what I ordered, but what I ordered is exactly what I wanted in this box. So we're going to see how the quality of this box is compared to the last box I got. <clears throat> now, when you think of Misfits, um, think of what... It means to be a misfit. Are misfits perfect? Or are they a little strange, unusual, might seem like damaged goods when you think of the term misfits? So when you get a box like misfits or in perfect food, don't expect perfect quality items. These are items that um, no longer are able to be sold in stores uh, because Maybe they're not perfect, and stores want perfect-looking food to sell to their customers. These might be things that there was an abundance of, um, so they had to be sold at a reduced price to get rid of them before they um, expired. So when you get a box like Misfits or Imperfect Foods, you need to take that into consideration that these are possibly damaged or blemished or in some way not perfect-looking but they should still be um, usable as far as for food and nutritional value. So let's go ahead and see what the quality is 
if these guys are too damaged to use and they'll go as chicken fodder or if they're going to last me a day or two in the fridge before I can prepare them for meals. Of course, we have some uh, interesting um, items in here, uh, advertisement for Misfits for the different things that they offer. Um, let's see, one of the items that they're advertising is Italian Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Retail price is $18 for a 26 fluid ounce container, which is about right uh, for a top of the line, so to speak, olive oil. And you can get it from Misfits for 10 bucks. So um, a lot cheaper. Uh, let's see what else is in here. That's really um, organic broccolini. And I'm not sure if I ordered that or not. Broccolini is broccoli that's in smaller spears. Um, spearheads, as my son says, it looks like asparagus because the way it grows, but it's broccoli crowns instead. If I ordered that, you'll see that. Um, but this print's too fine to really show on camera. But um, it's generally $5 for a bunch, and you can get it for $3 a bunch. So that's just some items that they're advertising that's in, that is available through them. One thing I really like is how they packaged uh, the box last time. It was in a, like a cardboard type igloo, which kept the items um, insulated and cushioned. Now this is regular styrofoam kind of foam packaging, um, so it looks a little different than my last box, but it probably still works the same. Alright, yeah, definitely a different type of insulation this time. Alright, so far, just looking at it, so far so good. You can kind of see what's, what's in there. There's a little more light on the subject. And yes, I did order broccolini. So I'll show you what that looks like here. This is broccolini. And like my son says, it looks kind of like asparagus shoots, how they grow in single stalks. And that's what broccolini does. See, they're single stalks of broccoli. And no, these aren't the spare shoots that you can get when you cut the main broccoli off a stem. This is actually how these grow. Um, so it's really cool because it's bite-sized crowns. You don't have to cut them up that much. But I got a couple bunches of those. And you can see that these look very, very well. Um, nice and crisp still. They're actually still quite cool. That one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. So those all look good. Let's see, what else did I get in here? Oh, I got another one. So yeah, very good looking. All right, let's see what else. I got some Brussels sprouts. These are organic Brussels sprouts. My husband loves these things. He could eat them for every meal if you allowed it. So I got some of those and you can see these are very, very good looking. There's no brown spots on them except for what you get, you know, when you cut them right off the stalk. Um, no mold or anything. These are very, very good. They're still quite firm. They're not mushy. So that is very good. I got some My Taki Mushrooms. Um, we, I can get these actually at the farmer's market. But um, I, I, since they, I could get them as part of uh, the Misfits, and I could actually get them cheaper. I went ahead and bought them uh, just so we had some um, fresh ones because when you buy fresh ones with mushrooms, they only last a couple days just because of what they are. So now I have some My Taki mushrooms for over the weekend. Those will go great in a stir fry or something. Some more Brussels sprouts. Again, this bag looks very, very good. These are still quite firm, not mushy, so very good quality. 
I got myself a personal size watermelon. This was kind of my splurge because if you know anything about these personal size, I think this one's a seedless watermelon. They're quite pricey. This can run you almost $6 in a store, especially if you go with organic, just because it is a luxury item. You can actually buy a full grown seedless watermelon for about four bucks. So something that's about three times the size you get for a third of the price. But again, uh, since this was Misfits, this was cheaper. And this was my splurge because I really, really love watermelon. And I figure what I don't eat from this, um, my chickens and ducks will love it. So that was my splurge item. All right. So I got some limes, and um, you can see this one's got quite a few blemishes on it. Came off the tree that way, so there's nothing wrong with the fruit. It's just um, sometimes they look like this coming off the tree. I forget what this is called. I want to call it scab, but I'm not sure. Um, it really does not affect the quality of the juice and the nutrition in, inside. It's just not marketable um, at a regular market. People would see this and, and not buy it. This is why it's in a Misfits box. But um, I am trying to drink more water, and to do that, I'm flavoring it up. So these will be good for infusing my water with flavor uh, to make kind of a limeade blend. So I've got uh, some limes, and I think I also bought a couple lemons for that same reason. There's a lemon. All right, maybe I only got one lemon. This box is sitting quite high up because my table is counter height. And so trying to see what's in this box from my angle is difficult. <laughs> All right, here's another maitake mushroom. Looks pretty good still. It's not really limp or looking mushy looking. Um, when you see that mushrooms are starting to get like mushy or slimy, you know, they're, you know, they're too old, but this is still very good looking. So that will last the weekend, if not a little bit longer. This is something new. That's why everything's so cold. This is an ice pack. And then um, by feeling it, it's a gel ice pack. Very nice. Let's see. I can dispose and recycle it if I want. But being that it's intact, I actually might throw this back in my freezer and reuse it for myself because there's nothing wrong with it. It's completely intact. And why uh, fill the landfill with something you can reuse for yourself? So that's what I'm going to do with this guy. Right. Acorn squash. I saw these and I was so excited. My husband loves stuffed squash. So I figured I would cook these up probably um, on Sunday. Have a nice stuffed squash. I might even do these tonight just for a real treat for my husband. My husband and my son have been working hard for the last two weeks volunteering up at our church camp. They've actually been building um, walkways which was a lot of digging, a lot of laying down different material, really rough, rough, laborious work. So I might treat my husband to some stuffed squash tonight for supper. So I got a couple of these. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're not cracked or damaged or there's no soft spots, which uh, says they're starting to ripen too quick. These would probably keep for a while. Actually, this one's got a little cut mark here. Not a deep one, but somebody might have accidentally scored them when opening a box like this. But it's not very deep. So yeah, I'll probably go ahead and use these tonight just to prevent it from uh, these spots starting to, to rot. But overall, it's a perfectly good piece of produce. And there's my last lemon. All right, so this is everything that I got for, from my Miss Fix box. This is all organic produce. 
And how much do you think that all of this would cost if you went to a store and paid retail price for organic produce? I believe the acorn squash itself, you're looking at about four to five dollars a piece for organic acorn squash. Um, again, when I did that, I uh, showed you the insert, or actually talked about the insert. These run for about five dollars a piece um, organically. Uh, five dollars for a bunch. And I got four bunches of those. And then like I said, we got this watermelon here. I think this runs at least six dollars or so for an organic uh, seedless personal watermelon and then you have gourmet organic mushrooms so these are gourmet these are not uh, your simple button mushrooms so these are gourmet style organic mushrooms and brussels sprouts they're already expensive just because uh, of how these guys grow they're expensive uh, produce but considering everything that is here and how much organic items cost, how much would you think that this box of produce would cost at retail? Now, this box cost me, with shipping, around $40. So, um, that's with shipping. Um, so, I'm, I'm quite happy. Um, $40 is a lot for some people for food. I get that. Um, you know, we're on a tight budget, so this is kind of a splurge um, every once in a while when we can fit it into our budget. But we try to get organic food as much as possible as our budget allows because we know that it's pesticide free. Um, these don't, these ones are non-GMO crops. Um, so it's pesticide free, non-GMO. Um, you know, there's no chemicals involved with this. So this is going to be some top quality healthy food. And uh, so for us spending 40 bucks on something that's going to last us, oh, probably four meals maybe or so um, worth of, of produce, maybe five depending on how I use this, um, is pretty good for organic quality produce. So I hope this shows you uh, what you can get in a Misfits box. Again, this is video number two. On uh, video number one, I had um, a few items that were uh, slightly damaged, but not beyond what I could really use. So still quite pleased with the Misfit program. If this video gave you some good information on whether you should try the Misfit program or not, Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I will leave a link in the uh, description box below, below that will be my referral link for Misfits. So you can check out their program. It will give you a code for so much off your first box. Um, and I also do receive um, some bonus for you guys signing up. But this is not about me receiving any kickback. It's about showing you guys how you can get quality organic produce at a more reasonable price for those who are on a tight budget. So again, um, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like this type of video and you want to see more unboxing videos like these, make sure you put something in the description box below. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos or not. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button below as well so you can stay updated on more videos I might do on this as well as all the gardening I do, the chickens and other homestead uh, situations here. I thank you so much for being part of this video, being part of my journey today and I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time everybody, bye bye.